Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. And this tutorial is showing guys how to build my tiny, too wide secret staircase. As you can see, this thing is extremely small. When we flip up this lever, our staircase opens up. And then when I flip down the lever, the staircase closes right behind us. So as you can see, this thing is extremely small, guys. And you can easily add a button to the inside and the outside as well. I'll show how to do that at the end of the video. So let's start building this thing, guys. Very easy build. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a six by four spacing. And we're also going to have to dig down five. Now, if you only want to do one side, then all you need is a three by four spacing because this thing is mirrored on both sides. For this build, we are going to need 12 sticky pistons, two hoppers, two droppers, two redstone comparators, eight redstone repeaters, two redstone torches, 22 redstone dust, a lever just to test out to make sure everything's working. We're also going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on and some blocks of choice and two slabs. So to start things off, we're going to go to the bottom left hand corner and we're just going to count over three. One, two, three and right here on the third block we're just going to put four blocks like this with redstone dust all along them just like that next what i want you to do is go towards the left two blocks one two and then off this redstone dust we're going to put a repeater right here on one tick delay next what i want you to do is put three blocks in front of this one tick delay repeater one two three like that and we're going to put two pieces of redstone dust right here and then coming out of this redstone dust we're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay so it looks something like this right now Next, what I want you to do is swing back over here and where this redstone dust is coming off this block, we're going to put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay. Then right next to this two tick delay repeater, we're going to put a block like this. And then facing towards the two tick delay repeater, we're going to put a comparator going that way. Next, what I want you to do is mirror everything right here on this side. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did here. So come out two dust, put a repeater going this way on one tick delay, put a block up right here with a comparator going that way. Put three blocks in front of this repeater one two three put two pieces of redstone dust like that coming out of this redstone dust we're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then down here we're going to put a repeater on two ticks delay then right off these two blocks right here we're going to take out our pistons and we're going to put two double pistons facing upwards so one two one two just like that and then right above this dust we're going to put another set of pistons one two like that next right off this back corner we're going to put a sticky piston facing towards us another sticky piston facing towards us and then right above this one tick delay repeater we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards and we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side so one two and then a sticky piston facing upwards just like that next what i want you to do is take out your blocks of choice i'm going to be using sandstone and place sandstone above all your sticky pistons like that then right down here next to these two one tick delay repeaters we're going to put two sandstone blocks like that as well next what we're going to do is come down here and where these two tick delay repeaters are we're going to put a block right above them so you will no longer be able to see them and then put a piece of redstone dust on top of this block do the same thing on this side as well when we put this block above this two tick delay repeater we will no longer be able to see it and put redstone dust on top of the block like that next we're going to put two blocks like this with redstone dust coming off both of these blocks then we're going to come over and over one like that and put redstone dust like that and do the same thing on this side over and over with redstone dust like that we don't want these two connecting so take out your block of choice i'm going to be using sandstone and put sandstone or whatever you're using right above here just to cut off those from each other next we're going to come out one more block like this and then go in towards here with a slab so take out your slabs and we're going to put a slab upside down right here going into the side of this piston put redstone dust here and then put a repeater going into these sticky pistons on four ticks delay do the same thing on this side so what we're going to do is put a slab right here put a four tick delay repeater going into the side of your piston and then put a block next to it with redstone dust on top of it for this next part we're going to need two wooden shovels i forgot to mention we are going to need at least two wooden shovels then right off this corner block we're going to put a redstone torch like that then right underneath this redstone torch we have to put a dropper facing towards this comparator so what i like to do is just put a block right here and then put a dropper make sure it's a dropper not a dispenser facing towards your comparator like that and we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side as well so put a torch come right underneath it just put a block up like that and then put your dropper facing towards your comparator like so next what i want you to do in front of both of these droppers is go into sneak mode and put a hopper going right into the front of them like that then go inside your droppers and place in your wooden shovels like this make sure you get those wooden shovels in there they have to be at least a wooden shovel or something that is a non-stackable item that's why i used a wooden shovel because it's the easiest thing to get and you are completely done guys so if you place a lever here or here and flip it down as you can see your floor will close and then when we flip it up our staircase opens up and then obviously all we have to do is just clean it up so take out your block of choice and go right ahead and clean it up just like this 
and you are completely done guys so now if i flip down this lever it closes and if i flip up the lever it opens up now you're probably wondering what happens if i want to put a button in well that's very easy all we have to do is delete this lever and then off either one of these blocks it doesn't really matter so off either one of these two blocks we have to just put a mono stable t flip flop in. so all i like to do is i just put like a repeater right here it has to be a repeater because it has to activate this dust here and this redstone dust down here as well then all we have to do is just come out two blocks like this and put a sticky piston facing this way and then let's go ahead and just throw a i guess a redstone block into it so let's take out a redstone block and just throw a redstone block right in front of the sticky piston like that and then all we have to do is just put a mono stable circuit going into the sticky piston so just put a block behind it repeater put a normal piston with a piece of sand or you can put a sticky piston with a block on top of it and then put a block on like that and then just put redstone dust or a repeater going into this block so we're just going to go ahead and use redstone dust because we want to use the uh, least amount of resources now if i put a button to this let's take out a button and i click the button right here so now if i click this button our staircase will close and if i click the button again our staircase will open up so all you literally have to do now is just come down here into the inside of your staircase and just set up a little tiny thing whichever way you want to do it i usually come out at least two so it doesn't mess up these pistons right here and then we can just place a button right inside here like this Boop. and then just bring power from that button over to where we just made that mono stable circuit like this and then just put redstone dust all along it like that and now if i click the button in here it closes click the button again it opens up so now if you want a button up top all you have to do is just bring power from any part of this redstone dust up top so literally if you just put a block on any part of this redstone dust or just bring the dust up somewhere else and click the button it will close and it will open up so there you guys have it that's how you build a tiny secret two wide staircase if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys Whew. peace